Got a great guest in studio from the North Mason Regional Fire Authority. It's Jeremy Hicks. Good morning, Jeremy. Good morning. How are you doing, Jeff? I am well. How are you? Very well. Very well. So I got to say, first things first, congratulations on your big chili and salsa cook-off championships. I mean, you needed, what, two more arms to carry all those, all that hardware you won that day. Yeah. It was a, it was a great event. <laughs> For all, but uh, winning the winning was great. Winning too. for you especially, and it's uh, the AmeriCorps program that works with the North Mason Regional Fire Authority that kind of has been putting this on over the last three years. And AmeriCorps, kind of one of the things you want to talk about this morning. Yeah, so uh, AmeriCorps is a, a program that we we brought on uh, three years ago, but we've had it in our in our agency before, and it allows um, students uh, between eighteen and twenty five to come into our organization. They work as a uh, quasi volunteer volunteer members for the Washington Service Corps, and then they're assigned certain tasks, um, and every year has been a different emphasis. Life jackets, bike helmets, smoke detectors. This year was fall prevention, and uh, part of that program, we always like to have this chili cook-off, because uh -huh. not only does it give them the year to work with um, project management, at the end, it kind of gives them a project to run, and it's a fundraiser, and it's allowed by the, the rules for them to be able to help us out with that. And um, they put it on every year, and every year it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And uh, you, you came and that was a lot uh, of fun. Judged this year, which was uh, it was great to see you, and uh, it, it was a good time. There was a lot of people there. I think had a really good time. I'm not just saying that because you're here, and your chili is amazing. I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure how to describe it other than um, amazing works. Amazing. <laughs> I mean, what was the name of it? The best, right? The best. And that's yeah. really what it was. You put all sorts of different, I don't know, you had how many types of five meats or something like that in there? Yeah. Smoked well, meats? Well, you know, we're, I know we're, you on, we're on public radio, so I can't be giving away my secrets try to, right try to now. You ask know? the right questions. Yeah, yeah it's, not, it's not going to work. <laughs> Darn it. Now, that was a lot of fun, and uh, it was good to see so many folks up there enjoying the day. And it was a beautiful day, too. At it the, was. At the Couldn't Eagles ask Hall. for better weather. So AmeriCorps is a fun program. And do people, when they sign up, like if someone signs up and they go, they went to... Uh, North Mason High School or Shelton High School, can they work at North Mason or is it something where the AmeriCorps uh, f folks have to travel kind of outside their area? No, so what they do is they apply. There's all these positions. You can actually get on on our website, NorthMasonRFA.com, or you can go to the Washington Service Corps website, and you can see all the jobs, all the different places that are, are uh, accepting these applications. Ours is in there. Mm -hmm. Ours is specifically next year for fall prevention and to work in um, public education uh, okay. with me and our organization. Um, but, you know, sometimes we'll get applications from, you know, far away, and obviously the local uh, local high school students we like to have because they know the area sure. they know the people and uh, this year we had two local um, uh, people that came and applied and, and were accepted into the program and again it's a great program I, they give you a, a living stipend which um, is twelve hundred dollars or so a month um, and they provide health benefits and stuff for you during this program the big thing is at the end of this program which is only ten and a half months you get fifty five hundred dollars tuition, college oh, wow. tuition, to go to college or to help pay down loans, uh, student loans if you already have loans, um, or finish a degree program. So it's a really good program. The the good thing about it this year is it used to be eighteen to twenty five. They removed the top age cap, so uh, eighteen to whatever. to whatever works out really good for us because it kind of opens that different de demographics for us. Now we can look at. Um, you know, maybe uh, parents that want to, you know, take their kids to school and then come work during the day and then have this freedom to go around is still, they still require you that, that 40 hours a week. You know, it's like a real job yeah. that you have to come in. Um, but it opens this kind of different paradigm that we haven't had before. So we're, we're really excited. We expect to get a lot of applications this year, hmm. and, and we'll be selecting one uh, this year to, to join us. Very cool. And you can, again, find more on that at NorthMasonRFA.com. Burn ban, we have a burn ban in effect? Uh, burn ban will be coming into effect, not in effect yet. Okay. It will be coming into effect uh, 8 o'clock in the morning on Saturday, Saturday, Saturday the 15th. And that should be up on all the county websites here. The The county fire chiefs yesterday at 3 o'clock uh, supported a 
um, countywide burn ban and the uh, community development director uh, Dave Wyndham is also supporting that and that will go in front of the Commission this morning for informational purposes but um, it, it's what is commonly known as a level one we don't use level one in Mason County but it's a it's a burn ban that's just going to restrict land clearing burn and yard debris fires people that are still having um, the recreational campfires and approved pits and, and they call them approved pits like steel line concrete line stone line fire pits in a designated area um, are going to be able to have those recreational fires seasoned firewood uh -huh. not not the green stuff or the leaves or any of that stuff but seasoned firewood and a little three by three fire pit are still going to be okay and all that information will be on your local fire district's webpage probably going out this morning but if you if you can't find it then the county mason county's website will have it on this afternoon this come down to do the county uh to the different counties gather together or does this come down from hillary franz the commissioner of public lands or how does this all work so um that's a large question i'll try to make it a, a lot shorter answer um in in previous years we we have dnr protected land and then we have the county land and and we've kind of done these different things well the county will will control its land and the dnr will control its land and and this year uh a new lands commissioner said you know let's try working with the counties you know getting the the county uh together so uh yesterday at the chiefs meeting they had the um, DNR representative for Mason Thurston, um, King and Pierce counties come and said, "Hey, we're kind of working together to see if we can all put on a burn ban at the same time and be the same unifying message coming out." And they approached the Fire Chiefs Commission and then they they called the community development and said, "Hey, can we all work on this?" And and they did, you know. So we all came up with Saturday at eight o'clock in the morning, which is going to, you know, plus or minus a couple hours is going to coincide with all the other county agencies okay. um and uh from what i understand kitsap is on board and thurston's on board and that's usually kind of our our um issues if you will is people live in the north end especially up by north mason fire mm -hmm. we also butt up against kitsap county so people sometimes don't really know where where the border is or they'll go to the wrong web page so we're all trying to get on the same page this year and and it looks like fingers crossed it's going to work we're oh, going to good. be able to uh get this message out and the nice thing is we also have five days to have you know yeah. to advertise this and uh this is one of those opportunities well, i'll continue to me mention that throughout the rest of the week uh before i let you go here as we wrap it up on time i know that you also do a lot of work uh with the north mason chamber of commerce you just tell me about a ribbon cutting up yeah so i was just uh, running through my emails this morning uh the august 17th i believe was the date is the ribbon cutting for the highway three project um and and i don't know a lot more than that except for i'm on the chamber of commerce and uh they they sent me an email saying this is happening which is exciting news because that i would assume that that means the project will be done yeah, august 17th fingers and, crossed on that and on my way to work today i was really impressed they got uh they've been building up the road the whole time and it looks like they're they're almost there so uh it's pretty exciting work up there and the uh, little plug for the chamber of commerce is uh, they're working on the beautification committee so they're gonna have a lot of new wayfinding signs and cool. trash receptacles and stuff so it'll be nice it'll be a lot of work once they get all this uh, construction finally it's gonna, done. It's going to be worth it, though. And it's going to look really nice. Jeremy Hicks from North Mason Regional Fire Authority. Always nice talking with you. Have a great rest of your day, and we'll check back in in about a month or so. All right. Sounds good. Thanks, Jeff. Okay.